second chapter in 12th class. Now, that is electrostatic potential and capacitance. In this chapter, we are going to discuss about the potential and the capacitance. Now, first of all, what is potential? That I am going to explain. Okay? Before going to know about the potential, we have to know about the potential difference. What is potential difference? What do you want to know? Potential difference definition I want to give. What is the potential difference? Now I will tell with explanation what is potential difference. This is a charge Q. Okay, for example, this is a charge Q. Around the charge, electric field will be produced. This charge effect will be exist up to certain region. That region is called as electric field. Now, for example, this is a point, this is a point. And now this point we can consider as A and this point we can consider as B and at this point the potential is VA and at this point the potential is VB. Now we are moving the some certain test charge Q from point A to point B for that some work we have to do. Okay? At point A the potential is VA, at point B the potential is VB and now we have to do some work to move the Q charge where Q is the test charge, capital Q is the source charge, means it can produce the electric field. It can produce electric field. Right? And the small Q is the first charge. Right? It is the test charge, small positive charge. Now we are moving from this A to B. And for that some work we have to do, right? That work we can consider as done. And now this plus Q repels the plus Q. Electrostatic force will be acts like this. This is electric force. But we have to apply the force this side in order to move the charge Q from A to B. Now the potential difference formula is, okay? The formula for the potential difference. Potential difference. Potential difference. That is equal to VB minus VA, where A is the initial point and B is the final point. And that potential difference is equal to work done to move the charge from A to B. That is the work done by external force. Work done by external force by charge Q. This is the formula. And the charge that is Q moved from A to B. Potential difference formula is VB minus VA is equal to work done by charge. What is WABE here? WAB is the work done, work done by external force. Work done by external force to move to move Q charge from, from A to B. Okay, we just simply, I will tell you, we want to move small Q charge from A to B. We have to do some work because we have to apply some force, right? This some displacement it is taking. That means we are doing some work at here. This is the work done to move from A to B, right? We are moving the Q charge from A to B. And further we have to do some work. That work by charge gives the potential difference between two points. The potential difference between two points is equal to work done to move the Q charge between two points. For example, this Q we will take as one unit. If Q we will take as plus one coulomb or the one unit. If you take the plus one coulomb, then what happens to the potential difference? The potential difference Vb minus Va is equal, we will get as Wab by Q, where Q is 1, then W by 1 is W we are getting, then the potential difference we will get as work. That means, now based work is equal to potential difference, but work for to more unit positive charge. The definition we will write like this, definition of potential difference, that is, Work done, work done to move unit positive charge. Work done to move unit positive charge 
between two points in electric field in electric field is equal to the is equal to the potential difference between the two points potential difference between that two points work done to move unit positive charge between two points in electric field is equal to the potential difference between that two points here what actually work done to move unit positive charge work done to move unit positive charge here work is equal to potential difference but the work to move unit positive charge if you will take the positive charge as unit then for to move that unit positive charge how much work we have to do that work is equal to potential difference then if you want to move unit positive charge from a to b one coulomb charge we are moving from a to b for that you have to do some work that work is equal to potential difference Means work to move unit positive charge is equal to potential difference. Work to move unit positive charge between any two points is equal to potential difference between that two points. Right? Here we are moving from object from we are moving the Q charge from A to B. Then work per unit positive charge. Work then to move unit positive charge. Work by charge. Work per unit positive charge is equal to potential difference. Then see. <coughs> Note us one point. You have to remember at infinite. At infinite, we will take as potential. We will take as zero. At infinite, the potential we will take as zero. Now, how to define the potential? Now, we define the potential difference. Potential difference is the work to move unit positive charge between two points. Then, how to define the potential and what is the unit for the potential and which device used to measure the potential this topic is also there in the 10th class now let us see what is potential now define the potential potential is the v potential is the v okay and now how to define the potential to define the potential we have to take the q charge again source charge and this is Certain point, okay. Certain point P. At here the potential is, okay, B, okay. And another point we will take at infinite distance. This is infinite. At infinite the potential we will take is zero, okay. Now here we are moving the Q charge, Q charge from infinite to certain point. We are going to move from infinite to certain point. We have to do some work to move the Q charge from infinite to certain point. Okay? Then the potential difference formula we know that is VB minus VA is equal to work to move from A to B by Q charge. Right. Here initial point is infinite, final point is P. That means A to B, infinite to P. Right. Right side. A to B we are moving in the previous case, but here the, we are moving the Q charge from infinite to P. That's why work to move from infinite to P by charge. Potential difference. Potential of infinite we will take as zero. A to B we are moving. A is the initial. This point we will take A, and this point we may take it as B. Okay. And A to B at A, A is at infinite. That is potential we will take as zero. B at B the potential we will take as B. Now the potential difference V B minus V A. A to B we are moving. A to B we are moving, right? And now what do we write V B? V B as B we will write. Find the potential at infinite. The potential is zero. Now the potential formula is work to move from infinite to certain point by charge. If you take the Q as one unit plus one coulomb, okay. Then at that moment the potential is equal to work to move from infinite to certain point, right? Now how to define this? Here 
the potential definition is work done to move unit of positive charge between two points but not between two points at here the one point is at infinite that's why we will write the definition like this that is the definition is definition of potential definition of potential right how to define the potential previously potential difference definition i gave but the potential difference is potential is particular point potential difference means two points are there here we will write the definition work then to move unit positive charge unit positive charge from infinite to certain point in electric field from infinite to certain point in electric field is called as potential right potential is equal to work potential is equal to work work to move from work to move unit positive charge you have take unit positive charge then if you take the q as 1 then potential is equal to work work to move unit positive charge work to move unit positive charge from infinite to certain point is equal to potential work infinite to certain point means potential you will get 1 point to another point means you will get potential difference and this is about potential and potential difference and now let us go for the unit of the potential how to write the unit of the potential very simple let us see how to write the unit of the potential potential unit unit of potential right unit of potential s unit is a old v potential formula we know potential formula is work by charge that means potential other unit is zout per coulomb work by charge work unit is zout charge unit is coulomb zout per coulomb or volt is a unit of potential and now let us go for how to find out the potential at certain point of the potential difference and potential difference measured by voltmeter right measured by voltmeter and the voltmeter is always connected in parallel that we know already in 10th class now i am going to start one important topic that is potential due to point charge i am going to derive now the topic is potential due to point charge let us see how to find out the potential due to point charge potential due to point charge potential due to point charge how we will derive this formula it is very simple to derive the formula and let us see we will take one q charge this is a source charge source charge q and from q charge at a distance is small r i want to find out the potential here i want to find out the potential and now for that let us take this is a point a and that is at x distance this point we will take as p and this point i will take as a okay and now at point a the charge is the some distance we can take as x and now this point we will take as at infinite okay and this distance is at infinite now here what is the potential at a particular point how we will find out the potential what is the definition for the potential potential at certain point uh, is equal to work done to move from infinite to certain point by q charge we have to write okay and for that we have to calculate the work done to move q charge from infinite to p 
to calculate that one for that let us take this point a and here we will take this small q charge first we have to calculate the small work to move we have to calculate the small work dw to move q charge from a to b through the small distance dx okay and now at any point <coughs> for sun for sun test charge small q which is at a distance at a distance x from source charge source charge kappa q now the what is the formula for the force on this is small q charge applied by this kappa q for what in these two charges yes yeah, the force is 1 by 4 pi epsilon r according to coulomb's law q1 q2 capital q into q2 is small q the distance between these two is x x square this is coulomb's law we will take this equation 1 this is the electric force this is the electric force and now we have to calculate the small work okay small work that is along the y external force by external force external force to move q charge from a to b yes small work a to b dw is equal to force into displacement force is uh, f let us take we are applying the f force to move it and the displacement is dx this is dx this is dx from a to b displacement and force into displacement f dx and here this work done by external force we have to calculate but the external force external force is equal to opposite to electric force right and now electric force this plus q repels this plus q electric force this side will be there and we are applying force this side because we are moving the q charge from a to b then for that force into displacement we have to write work is equal to force into displacement we have to write and here we have to calculate if we have to calculate the total work okay before we to calculate the total work this f we write as minus fe into dx minus fe is the electric force If e is a electric force, this is electric force, and now uh, we have to calculate the total work. Total work to move to move Q charge from infinite to point P. Yes, infinite to point P. I want to move the Q charge from Infinite to point P. For that, how much work we have to calculate? Okay, it is very simple. That if you want to find out the potential at point P, then we have part at point P. Potential formula is work done to move from infinite to point P by Q charge. The work done we have to calculate. Yes, small work we have to calculate first to move from E to B. Later we have to calculate the total work to move from infinite to Point P. First small work we calculated force into displacement. Okay, this force we are applying this side, but electric force this side will be there. This plus Q repels this plus Q this side, but we are applying this side force. The work done by external force we have to calculate, right? And now for that, the uh, total work if you want to find out, we have to do the integration. Integration of small work gives the total work. Integration from way to way. Initially the distance is infinite. We have to to move the we have to calculate the work to move q charge from infinite to point p okay firstly infinite distance then finally point p distance point p distance is what smaller since we are moving from infinite to smaller then that is infinite to smaller work formula is what 1 by 4 pi epsilon r work formula we write it here so uh, we know already dw integration dw dw formula is you know already right that is minus fe into dx 
this is work to move from infinite to certain point B and that is infinite to R work force formula is 1 by 4 by epsilon not into capital Q into small q by x square this is from equation 1 into dx this we are writing from equation 1 and the next let us see we have to simplify minus this constant we have right outside minus capital Q into small q by 4 by epsilon not into integration infinite to r 1 by x square into dx ok except uh, this x square dx remaining are our constant while doing the integration constants we have right outside how we wrote the limit set here we have to calculate the work to move from infinite to p small work we know if, if you want the total work you have to integrate integration of small work gives the total work and here uh, w is equal to minus capital Q into small q by 4 by epsilon not into integration 1 by x square dx integration 1 by x square dx you have to use this formula integration x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 if you use this formula ok what is that formula integration x power n dx the formula is integration x power n dx is equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 if you use that formula for it here 1 by x square dx that is x power minus 2 dx that is what you will get here n is n is minus 2 that is x power minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 is equal to x power minus 1 by minus 1 then we will get minus 1 by x ok and by using this formula by using this formula ok integration x power n dx equal to x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 if you simplify this 1 by x square integration is minus 1 by x limits we have write it here in finite to r this minus minus you will get the plus that is w is equal to capital Q into small q by 4 by epsilon not into this we write as 1 by x infinite to r just we can solve the minus sign and now we substitute the limits capital Q into small q by 4 by epsilon not into first we have to substitute the upper limit in place of x we have to write r that is 1 by r minus we have to keep next next in place of x we have to substitute the lower limit this is the upper limit this is lower limit x value changes from infinite to r and now this is 1 by infinite we have to write then we will get the work formula as capital Q into small q by 4 pi epsilon not into 1 by r 1 by infinite value is 0 then finally we will get work formula as 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into capital Q into small q by r then after that we want to calculate the potential action ok for example this is considered as the equation 2 you want the potential at point P potential at point P how to calculate the potential at point P yes we want to calculate the potential at point P potential at point P I want to find out the potential at point P yes that is potential equal formula work to move from infinite to P by Q charge then work we have already here that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into capital Q into small q by r by q then this small q small q will cancel and finally we are getting the potential formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into capital Q by r this is the formula for the potential at point P this is the potential due to point charge on what factors the potential due to point charge will depends let us see what do you got potential due to point charge potential due to point charge that we did out that we got is 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by r and now let us see some more information regarding the potential we did out the potential due to point charge now potential due to point charge on what factors it depends 
पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू पॉइंट चार्ज पोटेंशियल ड्यू टू पॉइंट चार्ज यस दिस इज ए पॉइंट चार्ज कैपिटल क्यू फ्रॉम दिस एट अ डिस्टेंस आर द पोटेंशियल फार्मूला बेटर है एट अ डिस्टेंस आर ए पॉइंट पी वी डिराइव द पोटेंशियल फार्मूला व्हाट वी गॉट द पोटेंशियल फार्मूला 1 by 4 by epsilon not into capital Q by small r. That means on what factors the potential depends? The potential depends upon charge. Okay, charge is more, then the potential is more, and potential also depends upon distance. If distance is more, then the potential is less, right? And these are the factors on which the potential depends. Okay. And now, what about the electric field due to point charge? Electric field due to point charge. Electric field due to point charge. Okay, this is the Q charge at distance R. What is the formula for the electric field? Electric field. The electric field formula already we derived. Electric field due to point charge. One by four by epsilon not into Q by R square. That means here the electric field is inversely proportional to square of distance, but the potential is inversely proportional to distance. Now, if we draw the graph between E versus R and B versus R, then how you will get? Let us see the graph between graph between V and R or E and R. Okay. And if we will take the V R E on y axis and R on x axis. R on x axis. Then we will get the graph like this. This is one is like this, okay? And this is the graph, and one more is like this there, okay? And this is the graph for E, and this is the graph for V, okay? And this is the graph for V and E. Next one is here. Why we got this graph is uh, upper and this graph is downward? Just that it is very simple to know that uh, here E is inversely proportional to R square. Then when R is increases, then E decreases. But here R square will be there. The decrease will be increases by more. That's why it will goes down. Okay, this is inversely proportional. Small decrease will occur. Here R square is there. That's why large decrease will occur in the E for the same distance. Okay, and E is at the down and B is at the up. Like this will be there. And this the potential due to point charge and the electric field due to point charge comparison. And now the next one is potential due to system of charges. And for that we have to know first potential is a scalar, but electric field is a vector. Potential is a scalar, but electric field is a vector. Electric field direction what? Electric field is away from positive charge and towards negative charge. But potential, note, first point. Potential is a Scalar. That means potential due to positive charge. Potential due to positive charge is positive, and potential due to negative charge. Potential due to negative charge is. Negative you have to take, okay? And that means if it is a plus two charge, this is the first point I am going to give. This is plus two charge, and at plus two charge at point P I want to calculate the potential. 
2 to plus 2 charge which is the R distance. Then the potential formula is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R. And if it is minus Q charge, at point P you want to find out the potential. Then the potential due to minus Q charge is minus. That means we write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into minus Q by R. Okay, potential is a scalar. Potential is a scalar. It does not have the vector. It does not have any direction. It is not vector. Okay. And now second point. Electric field is a electric field is a vector. Electric field is a vector. Okay. And electric field due to point charge is Electric field due to plus or minus, okay, plus or minus, plus or minus. What I meant maybe plus or minus we will take. Due to plus Q charge, at a distance R, electric field is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R square. And electric field due to minus Q charge is also, the magnitude is same. We write again 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q by R square. Electric field due to plus Q and electric field due to minus Q. We write the same formula. Same formula. But here, electric field due to positive charge. This is the point B. Electric field due to positive charge away will be there. And electric field due to negative charge. Electric field due to negative charge. It is towards negative charge will be there. But the formula we have to write only 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square. Electric field due to positive charge, we cannot write positive. Electric field due to negative charge, we cannot write negative. But while adding the total, we have to use the vector plus. Here directly we can add. Okay? And now, one more point is, I am going to explain. Electric field direction, electric field is a vector. It has direction away from positive charge and negative towards negative charge. This is the electric field due to point charge. This is potential due to point charge. And now the next topic is potential due to system of charges. Potential due to system of charges. If many charges are there, then how to find out the potential? Potential due to system of charges. Q charge and this is Q3 charge and this is plus and this is plus and this is minus and this is again plus. There are several charges are there and this is a point P. This is R1 distance from Q1 charge and R2 distance from Q2 charge and R3 distance from Q3 charge. And R4 distance from Q4 charge. I want to find out the potential at point P. Potential at point P. Right? And potential due to system of charges. Potential due to system of charges. Is equal to algebraic sum of potentials due to individual charges. That means, now here, uh, potential at point P is equal to V1 plus potential due to Q1 charge V1 let us take and Q2 plus due to Q2 charge V2 we will take at point P and at V3 and so on. Right? Directly we have to add. We should not use the vector class. We should not use the vector class. No vector class. Why? Because potential is a scalar. So for the scalars we can add directly. For example 2 kg mass, 3 kg mass. You do combine 2 and we will get the 5 kg. Directly we will add. We cannot use directions because mass not have direction. Mass is a scalar. Right? And 2 kg body, 3 kg body. If you combine them, you will get 2 plus 3, 5 kg. But 2 newton force, 5 newton force. If you combine them, then how you are combining? That is important. Whether they are in opposite direction or in the same direction. If the same direction, if 2 newton, 3 newton add, then then 5 newton you will get. If they are in opposite direction, we have to subtract. That means when you are going for, for the vectors, if they are, 
to find out the net net force or the net vector net vector we have to use the vector laws if this vectors are in same direction we have to add if the vectors are opposite direction we have to subtract then here uh, scalar directly we have to add and that is p1 is the potential due to q1 charge p rate is 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into q1 by r1 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon not into q2 by r2 plus 1 by 4 pi epsilon not 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught minus q3 by r3 and so on we have to write. Here we can comment that 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught then we will get q1 by r1 plus q2 by r2 minus q3 by r3 and so on. This is how to find out the potential total system of charges. We should not use the vector loss because potential is not a vector, it is a scalar. We should not use vector loss. This is important to find. And the next topic is here we discuss the potential due to find charge. Okay? And we derive some formula. And let us see one problem uh, based on this. Uh, <clears throat> Calculate the potential at a point P due to a charge 400 to the power of minus 7 coulomb located 9 centimeter away. Okay, this is example 2.1 in CBSC. What they are asking? What they are asking? Okay, this is our question. Calculate the potential at point P. Due to charge of 400 to the power of minus 7 coulomb located 9 centimeter away. Hence, obtain the work done in bringing a charge of 200 to the power of minus 9 coulomb from infinite to the point P. Does this work depends upon path? This is our question. Very simple answer we can write. Okay, what is our A question? Let us write the solution. What they gave in the question? There is a point, calculate the potential at point P. Due to this charge, and the Q charge they give, right? The Q charge they give. Charge value is how much? 4 into 10 to the power of minus 7 coulomb. From this charge at what distance you have to calculate the potential? At distance 9 centimeter. Or they give 9 centimeter. You convert this into meters. 9 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. And now our question. We have to calculate the potential. Potential we have to calculate. Yes, potential. This is the Q charge. At distance r, there is a point p. At this point p, the potential is what? This is our question. And we know direct formula for this. Very simple problem. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q by r. You know already value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. That is 900 to the power of 9. Okay. In first chapter, we discussed it. Q value already you know. That is 400 to the power of minus 7 by R value is 9 to the power of minus 2. This 9, 9 will cancel. And then 10 to the power of 9, 4 into, this is 4, 10 to the power of 9 minus 10 to the power of 7. 9 minus 7, 10 to the power of 2. By, this is 9 minus 7, 2. By 10 to the power of minus 2. This 10 to the power of minus 2 goes to numerator. Then finally we will get the potential for value is 4 into 10 to the power of 4 volt. Right? 4 into 10 to the power of 4 volt. And one more thing they are asking. That is. What they are asking? Work done to move from infinite, work done to move this charge. This, this is A solution. And B solution they are asking. Okay, this is the capital Q charge. From this, at a distance R 9 cm at point P, we calculated the potential, right? The potential you got 4 into 10 to the power of 4 volt. What they are asking now, okay? In this next question, B question, obtain the work done to move to bring a charge 
that is we are bringing one charge from where to where from infinite to the point p let us take this as infinite point this point we will take as infinite point we are bringing q charge from infinite to point p right we are bringing this okay and for that work how much you have to do that is our question work yes work to move from infinite to point p okay that is equal to potential at point p potential at point p formula is work done to move from infinite to p by q charge right then from this work to move test charge q from infinite to p formula is potential into charge Yes, it is very simple. This work to move from infinite to p. Okay, that is potential into q. Potential already you know, four into the power of four. Then we are moving the q charge. What is that q charge in the question they give? Yes, we are moving two into the power of minus nine coulomb. That is the test charge that we are moving. Two into the power of minus nine we have to write. Then we will get the work then four into two e eight. Four minus ten power four, ten power minus nine, ten power of minus five joules. This is the second solution. And the next two, what they are asking? Does this work depends upon the path? If you take some other like this, you can take like this, you can take like straight, you can take. Is the work depends upon the path? No, the work does not depends upon the path. Only it will depends upon initial and final points. Work does not. depends upon path it depends it depends upon only initial and final points okay work is called force into displacement displacement gives initial and final points only this is the solution okay and the next uh, continuation let us see uh, how potential will be there whether it will be decreased or increases and what is the direct, whether the if you go in the direction of the electric field or away above the direction of electric field then what happens to the potential right let us see this is very important point i am going to explain important point okay this is important point right the first point is that potential decreases in the direction of energy If you go in the direction of electric field, potential decreases. Potential decreases in the direction of electric field. For example, this is plus Q charge. Okay. Electric field direction what? Electric field is away from the positive charge. This side electric field will be there, right? Electric field is away from positive charge. Let us take two points. Let us take two points A. And B, and at A at what distance? R A, and at B is at what distance? R B. Right at point A the potential is V A, at point P the potential is V B. Now tell me at what point the potential is high? Right. If you go in the direction of the electric field, the potential will decreases. That is the point. Why it will decreases? We know the potential formula one by four pi epsilon naught into q by r. From this, we write the potential inversely proportional to r. When the distance is increases, when the distance is increases, then the potential is decreases. That means here we write r b greater than r a. That's why the potential at b is less than the potential at a. Right? Potential at B is less. That means you are going in the direction of the electric field. In the direction of electric field, I am going. When you go from A to B, that is in the direction of the electric field, potential is decreasing. Potential is decreasing. At A, the potential is more. At B, the potential is less. V B less than V A. Okay. Or uh, this we can also write like this. 
That is RA is less than RB. Right? RA is less means VA is greater than VB. Reverse relation will be there for the potential. Right? Potential at A is more. And this is the first point. And now, if you in case of negative charge, okay, and potential decreases in the direction of electric field. Okay, potential decreases in the direction of electric field. If we go opposite to the direction of electric field, if we go opposite to the direction of electric field, opposite to the direction of electric field, electric field, potential increases. Potential increases. And now let us see third case in case of negative charge. In case of negative source charge. In case of negative source charge. And this is minus Q charge. And now at point A, this is point A, which is at R A distance. And this is point B, it is at R B distance. Electric field direction what? Electric field direction, right? This is minus Q. Towards negative. Towards negative. This is the direction of electric field. Electric field direction. Okay? And at point B the potential is VB. At point A potential is VA. Now tell me where the potential is high. At A or at B. Okay? If you go in the direction of the electric field, the potential decreases. Means here we are moving from here to here. That means if you go in the direction of the electric field, potential decreases. Potential decreases means at A, VA less potential, VB more potential. Okay? If you go in the direction of electric field, then the potential decreases. Here we write, we are moving towards electric field. When you go towards electric field, potential decreases. You take any two points at here. Okay, electric field this side will be there. Towards negative charge. And at this point, more potential is there. At this point, less potential is there. Means if you are traveling in the rest of electric field, potential decreases. Okay? And now from this, we write here. This is due to negative charge. Potential due to negative charge. Here we write here. Potential at point A is less than potential at point B. In case of negative charge distance, we cannot calculate. Not only distance, we have to take the uh, signs also due to negative charge. Here we will get the more negative and here we will get the less negative. And let us see here. This is minus Q charge. This is RA distance. The potential A point A, the potential is VA. This is at RB distance. Potential is VB. Okay, now what is the formula for the potential at A? 1 by 4 by epsilon not into minus Q by RA. Potential at B is 1 by 4 by epsilon not into minus Q by RB. Here RB greater than RA. We know RB greater than RA. RA is less. That's why VA value is more. That means more negative. Right? Here, RB is... Sorry. RA is less. That's why it is more. RA less means VA you will get more. Here, RB is more. More means this is less. You will get the less. Here, for example, example this is minus 2 volt. And this is minus 4 volt. Okay, in, in these two, which is less, which is more, we will write, right? Here we will write, uh, uh, in case of negative charge, this is in case of positive charge. Okay, here it is positive charge. Positive charge. Okay, in case of positive charge, we discussed it here. Now, in case of negative charge, what happens? In case of positive charge, we discussed. In case of negative charge, here we write uh, um, RA less than RB, but we write uh, VA less than VB also. 
okay p a less than d t also this minus 4 less than minus 2 similarly more negative is less value less negative is more value when we compare the negative numbers when we compare the positive numbers more positive is greater less positive is smaller okay when you calculate compare the plus 10 and plus 5 okay plus 10 is greater than plus 5 and when you compare the minus 10 and minus 5 minus 5 greater than minus 10 that this formula we have to use okay thank you for listening my class subscribe my channel if you have any doubt you can contact me in my whatsapp number that is double nine six three eight one seven one three eight okay press the bell icon share to your friends subscribe my channel thank you for listening my class have a nice day